our bishop. That's right. The right reverend Dr. Poritosh Kani is our bishop. He belongs to us and we belong to him. Where do we begin? There is no aspect of our diocese that Bishop Canning has left untouched. He has laid his gentle guiding hand and with his vision transformed things in a manner that we have never seen before. It is God who wants in you to do his will and to act in order to fulfill his good purpose. Philippians chapter 2 verse 13. We, the entire diocesan family, celebrates God's plans, provision and promises for his chosen and anointed one, our dear Bishop, the Right Reverend Dr. Paritosh Kanin. The Bible says, many are called, but few are chosen. Our Bishop was chosen and called during his early life at the Oxford Mission. It was at Oxford Mission that our Bishop was initially nurtured and trained to accomplish God's plan of great and mighty works, of which we are witnesses today. His varied experience and wide exposure equipped him not only to be a man with steady focus and vision, but determination to give it all that it takes to fulfill God's plan and purposes. Our Bishop's vision for the growth of the church, clergy, youth, Sunday school and educational institutions are amazing and achievements are very much visible and remarkable. However, the most noteworthy of them all is Bishop's vision for equipping, empowering and encouraging DWFCS women so as to enable them to undertake important responsibilities in the spirit of unity and service. It has been Bishop's vision to give women coming from all backgrounds and social strata an opportunity to showcase their hidden and unused potential as partners in the mission of the church. Bishop's idea to share little for harvesting rich blessings has been the reason for the success of all the DWFCS events and programs, be it sports, sermons and services such as the Annunciation of the Blessed Virgin Mary, the World Day of Prayer, all have been undertaken under the dynamic leadership of our respected Bishop. Since Bishop has taken responsibility, the diocese has seen major changes. Communication, programs, educational opportunities, job exchange programs, relief to the poor and needy are areas where Bishop has created milestone achievements. Today, we wish to express our heartfelt gratitude to Bishop for all his love, his thoughtfulness and his parental love for the youth. Finally, here is a leader who wants his youth to be successful, who trusts his young flock with responsibility and is constantly thinking about equipping us for the future and through us equipping the church for tomorrow. We have often heard that the youth are the future of the church, but Bishop has always seen the youth as the today of the church. He treats us like his own children. Bishop's life story, his struggle, his humble beginnings are a story of hope to the youth of the diocese. Not every youth comes from a background of financial stability or wealth. 
more often than not, our youth come from simple homes, struggling with education and finances. In such scenarios, Bishop's early life of struggle and financial hardship gives us strength and hope. A man who believes actions speak louder than words, Bishop personally intervenes to make sure that his youth will never struggle for education, for concessions, to support youth for higher education, to creating job opportunities, to training young people for positions of leadership, Bishop leaves no stone unturned in his efforts to make sure that not a single youth will go through the same struggle that he had to go through in his childhood. I remember him stating in his Vision 2025, I will eat simple food, but I will see every young person educated and pursuing higher education. A leader who delves into his own pocket to support and equip the youth. Thank you, Bishop, for strengthening the young people. Bishop is the diocese's most prominent investor in the life of the youth. He hosts periodical youth meetings, providing an opportunity for the young people to meet together. These meetings are opportunities for him to find suitable candidates for job opportunities in the diocese. These are opportunities for him to see if we, the youth, are happy and are being spiritually nourished. He is actively involved in our lives. The youth group ranges from the age of 16 to 30 and are supposed to be the most energetic group, the powerhouse of the diocese, so to say. But we can safely say that in the diocese, Bishop is the ultimate powerhouse of energy. It is almost impossible to see him seated. He is constantly on his rounds, contemplating what else can be done for the diocese, what can be improved, and how the churches can be made better and the institutions improved as well. A man who leads a life of discipline, waking up early, traveling the whole day, traveling the length and the breadth of the city, visiting his churches, his institutions. On asking the bishop what is the secret to his unlimited energy, he smiles and gives all the credit to God. A truly humble leader, a leader we are truly blessed to have. Just a few words to summarize who our bishop is. P for his persevering attitude, A for his approachability, R for his realism and his realistic approach, I for the intellectual ability that he showcases, T for being not only a spiritual teacher, but a teacher in the true sense of the word, O for being the greatest organizer of diocese programs, S for being sincere in his work, and H for being a humble man of God. Beloved Bishop, it is indeed an honor for me to say a few words about you. And I'm finding it equally challenging to describe your long association with Sunday School in few words. It's been almost 25 years since I know you. I have seen you from far, how you have evolved as a person, as a priest, and as an administrator. The changing colors of your cassette from white to purple could not change the person within and your love and concern for our Sunday school children. I have seen your association with Sunday school which stands tall over decades. You have been an active worker and leader for children's cause in the diocese for a very long time. Since you have given me the responsibility to lead our children's ministry from the front, I have observed you more closely 
and discovered surprisingly a childlike spirit within you every single time ever since pandemic broke out our children were its worst victims no school no church no gatherings no going outside they were devoid of love joy and hope but you have motivated us to think something out of the box and the result is bible warrior an online platform through which they have once again regained their lost paradise with your able guidance we have successfully completed two seasons of the same and the number of participants increased in leaps and bounds more than the previous year we did cancel a few programs due to some restrictions and observance of covid-19 protocol but every time you came forward and explained to us how important the safety and well-being of every child is to you and motivated us we as a committee felt extremely honored when you opened your doors for us and hosted our christmas get together it was something that never happened before having you as a leader guide and motivator it has always strengthened our conviction to take more initiatives and walk a few more extra miles for our beloved little ones today your image as people's bishop moves ahead of you you are undoubtedly the first bishop of calcutta who is so easily accessible by all unlike others wish you all the health happiness strength and success khub bhalo thakbe we would like to remind all about the manner in which bishop has always placed a guiding hand on all of us ever since 11th june 2019 that is 2 years 11 months and 8 days firstly down to earth as ever bishop champions many noble causes and has worked with the people representing the needs of our community we have worked from the church of the epiphany in thakurpur to oxford mission grounds from the st paul's cathedral to the gandhi statue or even to st james church ground so to make our presence felt he has taught us how to galvanize the church community into a force for a cause we have taken delegations from our means to hold meetings with the government authorities and dignitaries thereby increasing our exposure to various situations we have been able to observe close at hand and learn how to handle the world beyond the confines of our church secondly bishop has taught us to pay due respect to other faiths he involves us in his interactions with people of very faiths and together we have joined them in their festivals with dignity and honor thirdly we have been seen bishop carrying standing with the homeless and hopeless people of cyclone affected areas he has shown us the way to people's hearts is by being at their side in times of need throughout the pandemic and in the aftermath of the cyclones we were inspired by our fearless bishop who made his way into the remotest areas with necessary items for the people fourthly 
Bishop also was among the first to explore ways to bring spiritual communion to the people during the pandemic. He began the online worship service on the Diocese of Calcutta YouTube channel, which became an instant success, bringing joy of communion with our Lord and the comfort of prayer to the homes of the individuals. We then learned that with our bishop at the helm, everything is possible. Fifthly, Bishop Canning brings out the best in us with the constant encouragement. He has personally guided the presbyters by streamlining the worship patterns and the liturgy. This has made it easier for us to minister to our parishioners and bring the word of the Lord to them. Sixthly, our bishop is a caring leader who is concerned about the well-being of the presbyters, deacons, and evangelists. Bishop has increased our remuneration to our sheer delight, renovated living quarters wherever necessary to make our lives better. The interdiocese, interchurches, cricket tournament, football matches have been organized for the good health and better relationship among the people. Bishop has organized several good programs for the recreation and refreshment of the house of clergy and their families. We also prayerfully waiting for the forthcoming Holy Land tour in the month of October 2022. Seventhly, Bishop has nurtured a connection with each and every one of us. He always alleviates our problems, allays our fears and strengthens our work with his presence. We are constantly aware that our bishop is with us and his and this gives us courage and strength to do all that we need to do for our communities. Eighthly, Bishop undertakes the final retreat for the ordinance himself. It makes us all realize how important it is to groom and nurture young clergy who are at the beginning of their journey. They are infused with the confidence that can only come from this time spent with none other than our Bishop himself. Ninthly, Bishop is a father figure in our diocese. He knows when to scold, when to correct us, and how to make us realize our mistakes. All this he does in his own loving fashion, being gentle yet firm. When he is upset, he expresses it. That is one way in which Bishop keeps his flock on the right path. We too have learned from Bishop how to conduct ourselves in our parishes. Last but not the least, we are the blessed to have in Bishop Dr. Canning a leader with a vision. His vision 2025 for our diocese is a unique endeavor to create a forward-looking evangelical diocese. Bishop has breathed new life into our diocese of Calcutta, making its presence felt everywhere. On this joyful day, we all earnestly pray for our Bishop's good health, wisdom and prudence to fulfill the vision 2025 and his plans for holistic development in the diocese to become an explanatory, exemplary diocese in the Church of North India. May the Lord soil his choice, choices, blessings on Bishop and the work he does for our community and even beyond. Thank you, Bishop, for all that you have done for us. Our dear beloved Bishop, the Right Reverend Dr. Paritosh Kanning, mentor, spiritual guide, and amazing shepherd. You're a rare gem from heaven. Happy birthday, Bishop. As you celebrate today, know God is near, for he is there leading you into another year walking with you always by your side he holds the future in his hands it's your steadfast trust faithfulness and service that has made you his chosen one our lord chooses ordinary humble men and makes great leaders out of them bishop's ministry 
began at the age of five, church cleaning in Oxford Mission. This humble beginning paved the path for him to fit into the predestined plan of God to become the 21st Bishop of Calcutta. He is a fit and fine bishop, keeps himself fit, slim, trim, morning walk is a must, early riser, disciplined, fitted perfectly well into the role of a mentor for all of us principals. We feel so comfortable to take our challenges to him at any time and we are sure to get the right guidance and solutions. Always open to suggestions. Frank makes us breathe easy and feel loved. He is a faithful bishop. Bishop, you possess all the qualities of a true Christian leader like love, modesty, integrity, self-development and vision. Your initiative for the welfare of the youth and children have been demonstrated when you engaged yourself in the development of various hostels like Oxford Mission, St. Margaret's Hostel, St. Elizabeth Hostel, St. Stephen's Hostel, founding the Calcutta Youth Self-Employment Centre, various child development centers, orphanages and second schools in many of the esteemed institutions under the Diocese of Calcutta. This showcases your immense love for the next generation. The elderly, the ailing and women have been given equal priority. Malvani House and Arunima Hospice are a testimony of this. Your modesty and empathy is reflected in the fact that you went personally to the Amphan affected victims in the Sundaban area and personally distributed relief among 350 families. This was not relegated to being a one-off event as the commitment made was continuous till all were rehabilitated. During the pandemic, your support towards the teachers, parents and non-teaching staff was exemplary. Children continued their education online as per your directive and the cooperation of all the heads of institutions. No child was deprived for non-payment of fees and neither were parents pressurized. All teachers in all the schools under the Diocese of Calcutta received their remuneration during this entire difficult phase. Today, under your capable leadership, Bishop's House has evolved into a place of life and hope for the people of the Diocese and all who enter through the gates. There have been immense improvements made there which include the new Bishop Canning College of Management and Administration, Bishop Canning School of Music. Your unparalleled acumen, Vision 2025 and tenacity has resulted in a phenomenal growth in educational and religious infrastructure. We are grateful to you that we have three new colleges coming up on the campuses of St. John's Diocesan Girls High Secondary School, St. Thomas's, Kidapur, and St. James School. La Martinia Oxford Mission School is already up and running with other new schools in the pipeline. Indeed, you are a flourishing bishop. The Lord was with Joseph and he was a prosperous man. All the educational institutions under the Calcutta Diocese is flourishing under your leadership. How true is Psalm 1-3, whatsoever he does shall prosper. On behalf of all the principals, I would like to say that you are the one 
who walk the talk. Thank you for being a we person and not an I person. Anyone can be a boss, but not everyone can be a leader. E.M. Kelly says, a boss says, go. A leader says, let's go. Thank you, Bishop, for being a leader to us and not a boss. We, your team, is so fortunate to have an incredible leader like you, fit and fine faithful and flourishing, an awesome coach and an excellent person. May our good Lord continue to bless you abundantly as you lead us and our schools to scale greater heights. To God be the glory. Thank you. The Senai Diocese of Calcutta is a renowned and a much revered spiritual philanthropic organization whose name and fame surpasses all barriers. It took up the reins of the Diocese of Calcutta with a view to connecting with the people of the diocese, deepening with his working relationship with his clergymen and addressing the needs of the community at large. Bishop Canning is an exceptional preacher, teacher and communicator. His experience in education, parish ministry, Dyson's administration have shown his wonderful ability to lead people by word and example. His commitment to pastoral care and concern as, and care for the people is clearly demonstrated through his leadership roles. Bishop Kenny works tirelessly to promote vocation to the priesthood and to instill a culture of vocations to his parishioners. He involves young priests senior priests and encourages them and provides them the opportunity to express their views and suggestions thereby contributing spiritually and equitably to the churches. Bishop Kenny plays a fundamental role as a guide in prevailing holistic Christian education in keeping with the tradition of the Church of North India. Along with the head of the institution, he ensures to uphold Christian values of love and concern and build new traditions that will bring forth all that is best and noblest in a child. The right hand of Dr. Scanning has proven himself to be a man of intellect, prayer, fidelity, and pastoral zeal to the poor people he has ministered to in his time as bishop. He is also an outstanding example of a modern bishop. He is intelligent and a brilliant organizer. He is all wonderfully engaged with his youth and has the tremendous capacity to take the church forward in challenging times. He is truly a man who seeks to bring the heart of Christ to everyone. Good morning, Bishop, guests and my dear friends. On behalf of the CDTAP, it is my privilege and honor to participate in this celebration. I thank the Almighty God who has blessed me to meet such a wonderful person who is not only our religious head but also a mentor to me. Among the many others responsibility instructed to him before he was elected as a CNI bishop, one of his assignments was being the honorary secretary of CDTAP. CDTAP is the main property holding trust of the Diocese of Calcutta and is the honorary secretary of it. Today, I understand how difficult it was, but our bishop had successfully completed his term with his merit, knowledge and energy. During his short tenure, he had settled many critical issues and disputes in CDTAP, which helped the diocese to save money and time, and to earn considerable revenue income. His instant but correct decisions have enabled to digest to steal and clear of uns, uns, unnecessary litigations. Today, with the vision and mission of our bishop, we are ex experiencing overall growth in diocese. He has many plans in his mind 
Diocese of Calcutta is over 200 years old, but we do not have any hospital of our own. But the grace of God and with the cooperation of our experts, our bishop is settling up a hospital with diagnosis center in our diocese for the benefit of Christian community and also for the public in general, irrespective of caste, color, creed, and religion or gender. He is also planning to set up college in different streams so that the youth of the our diocese are properly educated and benefited. Good morning to all of you. I am immensely grateful to the diocese for bestowing upon me this wonderful privilege to be present before this August gathering on this auspicious day. I take this opportunity to briefly apprise you on the wonderful work that our Bishop, the Right Reverend Dr. Paritosh Kani is doing for our diocese ever since he has taken the reins of the Diocese of Calcutta. With his installation as the 21st Bishop of Calcutta, Bishop Canning inherited a huge overdraft of rupees 2 crores which needed to be repaid to the bank at the earliest to avoid further depletion of a meager financial resources in the form of hefty interest to the bank. The diocese at that time barely had the fixed deposit base to meet the overdraft amount, let alone pay the interest. It was no doubt a situation that could intimidate even the most positive of men. However, as Catherine the Great One said, the brave soul can mend even disaster, and our bishop is one such brave soul. He is a man who is accustomed to look into the face of a challenge without being perturbed. And so with prayers and determination in his heart, Bishop Canning took the charge of the diocese, firmly in his hands, and steered us out of the green financial disaster that was looming large. In his three years as the Lord Bishop of Calcutta, not only has the diocese managed to repay the rupees two crore overdraft, but has also witnessed an almost twofold rise in the fixed deposit base. Bishop Canning has never shied from recognizing the importance of Synod of the Church of North India in the life of diocese. He displayed his inherent remarkable stewardship quality when he voluntarily increased the diocese assessment to synod from rupees 12 lakhs to rupees 15 lakhs. Truly, has it been said, strong people don't put others down. They lift them up. And Bishop Canning is indeed one such man of great strength who has always readily come forward with a helping hand to assist the synod as well as many other dioceses within the fold of Church of North India. Even the consecration of the bishops of two dioceses, Diocese of Patna and Diocese of Barakpur, took place at the St. Paul's Cathedral with Calcutta Diocese as the host. In all of this, Bishop has proved himself to be the finest example of Christian caring, sharing and brotherhood. Despite his busy schedule, in administering the diocese as well as the manifold diocesan institutions, Bishop Canning never forgot his clergy. Like a true shepherd, he is extremely protective of his flock and in these three years, he has left no stones unturned to ensure the well-being of his presbyters, deacons and evangelists. Since taking charge, Bishop Canning has effected an increase in the salary of the clergy by almost 24%. 24%. Today, the Diocese of Calcutta can proudly say that the senior most clergy draws a monthly package of Rs. 70,000. This achievement is like a feather in the hat of a diocese and is all the more amazing because Bishop did not increase the pastorate assessment to fund this revision of the clergy salary. Bishop Canning is also a visionary. He knows the significance of capacity building and how the diocese will benefit from it in the long run. With the future in mind, he has charted a pathway for the diocese entitled Vision 2025 that provides each church and diocesan institution with a set of guidelines to make 
ourselves ready for the future. As part of the execution of this project, Bishop has single-handedly supported around 30 youth members from the diocese to pursue higher studies without touching the diocese fund. He understands the importance of education as the pillar to support the sustainable growth of his diocese. Fitness is a very important part of a bishop's way of life. He inspires us with his indomitable energy and dedication to remain physically fit and active. Being part of the financial team of the diocese, I cannot help but draw a metaphorical connection here. Bishop's passion for fitness has not just motivated many of us to remain physically fit, but has also inspired us to walk towards the financial fitness of the diocese. Ever since taking charge, Bishop has challenged us to cut unnecessary flab from the expenses. His active financial monitoring has decreased the expenses of our diocese by almost 35% in these three years. As a dear bishop celebrates his birthday today, it is a day for us to be thankful to God for his numerous blessings, grace and mercy in bishop's life. A very happy birthday to you, bishop. May you be an instrument of God in shaping the life of each sheep in your flock, in shaping the life of the church and in shaping the life of the diocese for the glory of God. God bless you, my dear bishop. A mere video tribute can in no way justify all that Bishop Canning is about, nor can it share with you the tremendous amount of work he is undertaking to bring glory to our Father in Heaven. If we have to experience and know our Bishop, we will have to leave everything and live with him. This video is only a small attempt to whet your appetite and leave you thirsting for all that is good and pure. We have learnt about the biblical characters and are happy to know what God has done for his people. But should we not thirst to experience the same in our lives? Our bishop's life is the expression of the promise that if God can do it in their lives, he can do it for us too.